Hey guys, hey, it's really good to be back in Los Alamos and back with uh, our church and it's been a great sabbatical and uh, last Sunday was my first Sunday back to, to speak and uh, so I was just really excited and I want to just kind of just again thank you for uh, much needed time away and uh, so it's just really wonderful to be back with you guys and uh, what an exciting Sunday we've got coming up and next, next several weeks as we have a new change of ministry and uh, a little more emphasis on discipleship as we've added uh, the discipleship classes at 9 a.m., which, uh, by the way, we have new service times at 9 a.m. and at 10.30 starting this Sunday. But uh, what a great, exciting time this is for our church and I hope for your family. And speaking of those discipleship classes, the very first one we're going to do at 9 a.m. will be a class that's taught by Dr. John Rood on how to study your Bible. This is one of the most practical classes that I could uh, really encourage you to attend there at 9 a.m. And uh, there's child care available. But this particular class really will help you in your devotional life and in your walk with God. Because you'll, you'll learn some very practical tools on how to open the Word of God, understand what it's saying, look at some of the historical concepts, and, and how it applies to our life today. So I really want to encourage you to spend some time and maybe just... Uh, really consider coming to this class. It's really, really going to be good and very practical for your life. Uh, on a couple of other notes, it's just really, really good, uh, like I said, just to be back. Uh, Sunday mornings, uh, this Sunday, as well as the next couple of weeks, we'll be talking about really uh, three more very essential things as we take a look at specific individuals and groups of individuals that around the crucifixion and the resurrection whom the Lord touched and how he redeemed their lives. The last week we talked about Judas, and I'd encourage you to check out that particular uh, message online at fbc-la.org, and you can get the archive message, and uh, it's also available on iTunes. This week we're going to be talking about Peter, and uh, specifically the, the idea of denial, and how we oftentimes deny our Lord, not just by uh, shying away from specific instances of uh, you know, sharing Christ, that type of thing, or but it's really also about how we oftentimes deny him through our lack of belief, our lack of trust, our denying others, and how that even impacts our relationship with God. But then also how we deal with that, whether we've been denied or we are the denier. And so just going to talk about that and kind of walk through some very practical steps on how to do that and how God can redeem our lives and redeem relationships, not only our earthly, but particularly our relationship with God. Uh, the next couple of weeks after that, we'll be talking about uh, faithfulness and, uh, and loyalty and love. And, and again, how God uh, was so, uh, so gracious in redeeming even John and, uh, and, and then his mother right there at, at the cross. And then we're going to talk about the women who came to minister to his body on that Resurrection Sunday. So Easter's coming up. It's really going to be a great, uh, really a great spring. Really looking forward to it. We've got a lot of different activities going on at the church. And, and so I want to just encourage you just to, uh, uh, just to be faithful and just keep uh, just getting on your knees before God and just spending some time really with Him. And uh, just asking God just to show you what it is that He wants to say to you. I know he's given me a lot of great things uh, just over the last uh, several weeks and uh, just getting, uh, giving my batteries charged and just kind of dealing with some things in my own life. And uh, I've got some great things just to share with you over a period of weeks and months and, and uh, look, looking forward to the coming years as we, as we grow together in Christ. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and that God richly blesses you. And so look forward to seeing you Sunday and in the coming weeks. God bless you. Thank you.